thank you all for being here. Uh, these are exciting times in the Denver Police Department because uh, we are working very hard to identify the right folks for the right jobs. Uh, it's been a uh, very intensive process looking at uh, all of the strengths uh, that our team has. And uh, again, Chief White did a phenomenal job of developing the bench for uh, the Denver Police Department. We had a lot of qualified candidates to, to choose from. Uh, really, we are going to introduce our, uh, our, our team of uh, district commanders and a couple of folks that are getting promoted, uh, one of which will be taking over the Major Crimes Division. But uh, I really want to highlight uh, the, the, the deep pool of talent that we had. This is not an easy choice. Uh, we uh, you know, looked at uh, what separated folks, and in many cases, it was a, a very thin margin. Uh, when we're talking about ties going to the runner, uh, the tie was always the community side of things. So um, you will see a uh, consistent link, uh, deep ties to the community with all of the uh, district commander spots. And we're going to introduce the six district commanders as well as major crime, major crimes division. Uh, most of the other spots are uh, staying the same. There's some consolidation that takes place. We are uh, eliminating a couple of commander positions, streamlining a, a few of them. And again, the entire purpose behind this is so we can be more nimble and address the community's needs in a more timely fashion. So very excited to uh, introduce the team. We'll, we'll start with uh, Major Crimes. Come on in. This is... Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of, of reading here. So um, Mark Chuck was a, a captain. He will uh, take over the Major Crimes Division as a commander. He's been with the Denver Police Department for 29 years, so we're talking a lot of experience. He's uh, previously been assigned the captain of the Traffic Operations Bureau. He was instrumental in the uh, Vision Zero. Vision Zero is a big deal to us and uh, the city of Denver. We really want to enhance the overall public safety, uh, learn how to share the roads with our multimodal transportation needs that we have in this department. And uh, Mark was at the tip of the spear when we're talking about uh, that part of our service. Uh, Captain Chuck has 13 year, years of command level uh, experience, including patrol, uh, internal affairs, and uh, pattern crimes. So he's a natural fit in uh, the major crimes division, and he has got a strong support team there. Next, we have uh, Commander of Police District 1. If you see me shed a tear, don't judge me. It, it, it looks like Jeff has his own cheering squad with T-shirts, <laughs> matching T-shirts uh, to go with. Um, as you know, District 1 is my baby. It will always be my baby. It's my home. And um, this is uh, a very important pick uh, from my heart. Uh, just know that. Uh, Commander Jeff Martinez has been with the Denver Police Department for 23 years. Um, we basically grew up uh, together in this department, previously assigned to the District 5 uh, unit or District 5 for only about a month. Uh, I had to steal him away uh, from there. He's a native of Denver. He grew up in southwest and uh, northwest Denver. He's got deep community ties uh, to northwest Denver, long history of bridging the gap between uh, the community and the officers. So uh, when we're talking about the, the person to replace me in District 1, I told the council member that I was going to pick somebody better than me, and Commander Jeff Martinez is better than me in that role. So thank you. Uh, super excited for this. Reverend, there we go. Reverend Kelly, where's the T-shirts? I mean, I mean, you are, you're, you're. Oh, okay. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to promote Lieutenant Kathy Bancroft to commander. So this is, uh, yes, that's. Uh, 
this is a big deal, and uh, I, I don't know if there's anything uh, other than to say this is a natural fit. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, Kathy has a tremend tremendous amount of historical and institutional knowledge about District 2, the needs in Northeast uh, Denver. Um, I have seen her personally volunteer her time, change days off, in order to meet the needs of the, the community without being asked. And when we're talking about uh, a 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week job in the commanders, uh, commanders connecting with the community, this is the perfect uh, example of that. So. Uh, Kathy served with the department for 30 years, and uh, she was the uh, executive officer, the administrative lieutenant for District 2, so she's basically moving from one chair to the next chair. Um, her ties to Northeast Denver uh, date back to 1988. Um, if any of you saw that yearbook photo of me that uh, they showed on the news, that's when my hair looked uh, really high. Uh, anyway. Um, she's patrolled the Five Points neighborhood as a, as a brand new officer, and now she gets to lead the women and men that uh, provide the public safety services to that same district. So we're honored. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, Rick Kyle. Um, Commander Rick Kyle, we talked about uh, changing and, and making ourselves uh, more nimble here. You got to shake my hand, man. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Um, no, thank you. Uh, we talked about uh, consolidating some positions and really to, uh, with the, the goal in mind of being more nimble, able to uh, address the uh, needs of our community in a more timely fashion. I'm really excited uh, about Rick Kyle taking on this role in Southeast Denver. Uh, previously, Commander Kyle ran the uh, academy, and um, this is an opportunity where we get to transfer theory into practice. So Commander Kyle was uh, instrumental in the Back to Basics program. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge that our officers have shared with the Back to Basics as far as innovations and ideas that they have to uh, enhance our ability to deliver quality public safety services. And uh, Commander Kyle has been cataloging those uh, since it began. So one, we get to now move some of those ideas into action. And we're gonna do this in, in Southwest, Southeast Denver, which is uh, very exciting because then we can try to grow that from to, to the other parts of the city. Uh, the other thing that I'm excited about is when we're talking about being instrumental in innovation, he's also been instrumental in an area that we are going to uh, improve in, and that's the officer resiliency and wellness, taking care of the people that take care of the people. And he absolutely knows and gets this and uh, District 3 has a large contingency of officers assigned to that district, so uh, we'll be doing a lot of creative ways and uh, innovative ways, not only serving the, the people of Southeast Denver, but also the officers who serve the people of Southeast Denver. So I'm really excited about this uh, opportunity. So Rick, thank you. Thank you. All right. Are we all in long sleeves? So uh, anybody recognize this guy? Um, you can see you got all dressed up uh, for, for the spot. No, no, I'm, I'm with you, short sleeve, a working person. Um, anyway, Mark is doing a phenomenal job in District 4. I think every single person would, would agree, and we are not changing a single thing uh, about that. Um, we're excited. Uh, Mark and Jeff work uh, very closely together. A lot of the issues cross uh, district boundaries there. So we're going to be able to continue that seamless approach to addressing some of the quality of life and crime issues that we see in uh, District 4. Um, so Mark's going to continue in that role. He's demonstrated uh, very effective strategies for building uh, connections and trust with uh, young people, the Spanish-speaking community, immigrant communities, and uh, we're faith-based organizations. Father Joseph Bank, thank you so much for being here. Um, so we're uh, very excited about uh, continuing that and then enhancing that with uh, the rest of our team. So Mark, welcome back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Marcus. Uh, Commander Marcus Fontaine, he's got the, the best walk in the entire uh, Denver <laughs> Police Department. We might have to do that. We should have walk-up music for you, right? Um, anyway, uh, the good people of uh, far northeast Denver will get to know uh, Marcus here. He served the police department for 27 years, 
He has uh, previously been assigned to the Operations Support uh, Division. He has got a uh, extensive history when we're talking about command level uh, assignments in operations, investigations, patrol. He's got some community, uh, he's, he's led community teams, which is uh, a great asset uh, that we will uh, tap into significantly. Um, he's the right person for the job. And uh, I, I do want to say uh, the executive team, the division chiefs, the deputy chief uh, have weighed in on all of these uh, spots. We, uh, we, we went through, hashed it out, thought about it, hashed it out, thought about it. And uh, I'm very excited about every single member. Can't wait to see all of the great things that Marcus is going to do in District 5. So congratulations. Move and hold. Thank you very much. And then uh, last but certainly not uh, least, at least for the, uh, the introductions that we're doing, this is uh, future commander Aaron Sanchez. So Aaron will be getting promoted as well, going from lieutenant to commander. This will all be effective on Sunday. And uh, Aaron, uh, so District 6, what a, Tammy, where are you? Uh, yeah, what a job, right? Uh, Division Chief Sonia can tell you that. Tony Lopez Sr. could tell you uh, that District 6 is, is very unique, lots of um, challenges. And, and again, uh, our team thought long and hard about uh, identifying the right person for the job. Aaron uh, has served with the department 26 years. He uh, most recently was assigned to Intel. Uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, when you're talking about the 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week job, uh, Intel is one of those jobs. And so he's used to that high pace that uh, District 6 will throw at him uh, immediately. Uh, he's been in uh, investigative support. He's helped us out with the Shot Spotter program that uh, many of you are uh, aware of. He, has, uh, he al also is a Denver native. Um, unfortunately, he went to that Lincoln High School somewhere that you may have heard of. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 only thing that our executive team got wrong is that there's four Lincoln Lancers um, in the room. So uh, we can get past that, I promise. Um, so so Aaron, uh, not only did he lead a neighborhood police uh, officer team, he was also a neighborhood police officer himself. And he's got about eight years of experience directly interacting with uh, community members. Um, he's helped to, out, uh, on his own, organize outdoor recreation events and trips uh, with uh, young people to better engage uh, relationships there. Uh, he's worked extensively with Denver Public Schools, which is a big deal, and uh, their headquarters and, and some of the facilities that they have downtown. He's got a uh, extensive narcotics uh, background, which will help us out uh, quite a bit, as well as leading one of the uh, task force operations. So um, this, these are the, the folks, and by no means you'll get a full bio on, or you'll get a bio on all of the uh, additional commanders, most of, the, of which are staying in their same positions. Uh, these are the folks that typically work out of the headquarters um, bureau. They do a, a great job for us. But when we're talking about the individuals that are interacting with uh, officers, uh, or excuse me, with community members, on the street, uh, it's the six district commanders that, that people typically interact with. So these are the folks, and uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks to all of the uh, community members for uh, being here and supporting uh, these, uh, these candidates. They're gonna need your help uh, moving forward. Uh, public safety is, is an every person job, and uh, for us to be effective, it is uh, listening to uh, those different voices, uh, pitching in and working together. So with that, uh, if there's any questions, most of which I'm gonna let the, the individual commanders uh, answer. <laughs> Very nice. Perfect. So, uh, and that's exactly what we want. We want to be uh, accessible uh, in order to meet the needs of our community. So, great, great. Did, did you did you plant that? <laughs> okay. So there we go. She doesn't even. Okay. Good. 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 Leo.
Leo, thank you. You hit the nail on the head. Uh, us working together is how we're going to increase the safety for the people of Denver. Great point. Great point. Reverend? Thank you. Thank you very much. Director Riggs, you got anything you want to add? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Martinez. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Chief is heading out. He has a budget meeting to go to, so he's going to make sure he can fund everything next year. Hey, I do, just want to add this on behalf of the Department of Safety and Mayor Hancock. These are difficult jobs that these men and women have taken. The chief is at the head, but these individuals share in that responsibility. What I would ask you as the director of safety is remember them in your thoughts and prayers. And if something does happen in the community, you're not sure why it occurred or how it occurred, before you jump to conclusions or before you let others jump to conclusions, these are individuals who spent their whole life being open and transparent and honest. Give a call to them. Find out what the real issue is. And if there is an issue, take time to listen to why, how they're going to fix it. Because I have confidence in every one of these individuals, especially with the chief at the helm. So once again, on behalf of the mayor, and I thank you for being here. I really do appreciate the council members that are here and the support. I think this is a good moment for Denver, and you're right. Denver is going to lead the way in the future for police departments across this nation. Thank you for being here.